Welcome back. I didn't think I'd be doing another news video today, but here we are. And uh, they're playing hockey, so guys are getting hurt. Uh, these rookie tournaments, these rookie showcases, they're a lot of fun. Until one of the rookies gets hurt, right? So there's a PTO to announce first. Tyler Ennis, who'd been skating with the Oilers, he gets a PTO with the Ottawa Senators instead. He's played for the Senators before, so he's you know familiar with the organization. And a tryout now with the Senators is on the way. So that could be good. You know, depth forward could be a good pickup for Ottawa. We'll see how that turns out. Uh, Samarukov, if you were excited to see him in an Edmonton jersey this year, if you thought he had a chance to crack the lineup, uh, he has instead broken his jaw. He'll be out for six weeks. So this is where when people say, well, what are they doing? Th that's over now. We're no longer in the offseason. We're no longer in the summer. This is now... Guys going out playing hockey and getting hurt. Speaking of which, Jared McIsaac, who I hope is okay, um, he was taken to the hospital after he got hit into the boards and lost consciousness on the ice. Now, he is awake. Apparently, he has feeling in all of his extremities. He's okay, but that doesn't necessarily mean there's not a concussion involved. A uh, guy gets hit into the boards and, and, and passes out, loses consciousness. There's a good chance there's a concussion involved. So McIsaac, another one who had maybe an outside shot at breaking that opening night roster for Detroit. See, this is where Detroit fans have often said, you know, we're not in the news of the day. News of the day is not something you want to necessarily be in. So hopefully McIsaac's fine. That's why I'm wearing the Detroit, because hopefully he's okay. Speaking of supposed to be okay, uh, Trevor Zegras. Uh, he got hurt today uh, with a slash apparently the back of his leg. He did not come back out for the second or third period of the game. But the team's saying he's fine. So the team's saying there's nothing to worry about. It was just a precaution. He'll be good to go for, for the next go-around. But man, these rookie showcases, uh, it just feels like there's there's a lot going on this this year. Uh, this was mentioned this morning in the comments. So I'm going to mention it here. Artemi Panarin did state he doesn't want to be the captain of the New York Rangers. I don't think that's a big deal. Um, I, I think there's teams that have had good success without captains. I think the amount of pressure that can be put on a captain can sometimes be ridiculous. Um, and, and sometimes a captain can be a key player and sometimes teams without captains do quite well. Uh, and I, I think you have to have a team where everybody kind of buys into everybody needs to show leadership ability. Everybody needs to be able to step up. Uh, so that way you don't just have a situation where there's just that one guy that you can blame go, well, he's the captain. So, you know, when things fell apart, it kind of goes on him. So Panarin doesn't really want it. He has no interest in it. I'm not sure if that means that Panarin was offered. I don't think Panarin was offered it. Um, I, I just just off the top of my head think Jacob Truba could be the guy that ends up being the captain. Maybe Zibanejad if they're going to keep him. He is a UFA next summer. It has to be somebody who's under contract. So maybe Kreider, right? Maybe Goudreau. Goudreau, they just gave him that big long-term contract. Maybe Goudreau. Maybe Adam Fox. I don't know. But we know it's not going to be Panarin. So maybe it'll be one of the guys I mentioned or somebody else. Uh, Wade Allison. I like Wade Allison, but uh, apparently he left the rookie game with a leg injury, um, playing in the rookie game for Philadelphia, and his status is at this point unknown as to whether or not he's okay or if he's going to miss some time. So remember, we're about three weeks out from the start of the season. Injuries that take place now that you go, oh, well, that'll probably be fine. It's only three weeks. It's three weeks from Tuesday when we get back to uh, seeing National Hockey League games that have some some oomph to them. And it is next Saturday that we start to see games being played for the preseason. And of course, uh, training camp opens for some teams, you know, on Wednesday in, in Ottawa's case. I think there's some that open tomorrow. But uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be an interesting week upcoming. And yeah, these rookie tournaments. One thing I'll say with, with the rookie tournaments too is the, these are players who are trying really hard to impress. They're trying really hard to impress management to keep them around and give them a shot at a job. So sometimes you'll see hits in these rookie games that are really hard and really hefty. And they might even be a little bit late because guys are, are really going out there and giving it their maximum effort. And sometimes it can lead to reckless stuff. So hopefully we don't see a lot of injuries coming out of this, but we may see it during the preseason too. We've seen during preseasons where players that are maybe fringe players, maybe they're career AHLers and they really want a shot at a job in the NHL and somebody gets hurt. So... I'll be here to report on whatever happens when it happens, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through you just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.